What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to go over puppy training. Um, I'm going to give you four tips for training a puppy and just for a little background I'm not a puppy expert trainer but I am pretty good at it. I've been training dogs since I was a younger kid when I've always had puppies and dogs so um, I'm going to give you four basic things you can do to actually five so we'll do five things um, to get started with your puppy. Um, so first let me just introduce you to Storm. Come here mama. This is Storm. She is a 13, 14 year, uh, week old blue nose pit bull um, and she's teething right now so she wants to just bite and play with everything but she does really good and any dog can, is really smart if you just give them the attention. Keep in mind, puppies need attention. And this just pretty much goes with everything. This is like my rule of thumb with everything. Less is more. So like the less you're going to talk to your dog, just simple, real simple commands, that's what they're going to acknowledge. And they're going to remember that more. So I'm going to teach you the, how to get um, teach a dog her name or his name. I'm going to teach you sit lay down and introducing you to the cage and then I'll give you some basic potty training skills. So anyway, let's just get started. So re I recommend uh, when you're, first of all, when you're giving your puppy treats uh, for rewarding, you never want to have the treat in your hand, all right? Have like, and have it, and just like have it like, okay, do this or do that. Uh, cause that's going to come off with a bribe. So what you're going to want to do is put it either in your pocket or put it like I have the, I keep a little pouch. So, and I usually ha just have it behind my back. You know what I mean? So she knows, but it's not like you're in her face with it. Um, so that's a tip. I always give my puppy and my dogs all natural stuff. So, um, I have the natural source treats. These are a little bit softer. There's a salmon. Here's a chicken one. And then just wholesome uh, puppy variety, grain free biscuits. These are a little harder, they're a little bigger. Um, so I like, them. I like them both. So let's just get started. Uh, first things first, I will get those out of the way. And I'll show you how to teach your dog the name, um, her name. So what you're gonna wanna do is, hey Storm, come here. You're gonna to want to just start like if the dog doesn't know her name at all. You just want to go like make a noise or like a like this like storm. And then when the dog makes eye contact, as soon as the dog makes eye contact, so you go, good girl, hey, look, good girl, yes, good girl. So as soon as she makes that eye contact with you, you're gonna to want to reward her because that's that's what you want. Hey, sit down, down, sit, good girl. So that's what you want. You want the dog to look at you and make eye contact. Now, you're gonna do that again. Get down, here you go. Storm, when then introduce the name as you're doing like a noise or something. You can give little pieces of food if you want, or you can give a treat, sit. She's so excited, hey! Still working on getting down, but she's got everything right now. Down, down! Down, good girl. Okay, so remember, when the dog makes eye contact, this is that's why you don't keep the treats on. They're just gonna jump on you and sniff, and always stay above the dog. Don't get down low at the dog's level. Don't go back on your back. Don't let the dog walk on your chest or anything like that. Be above the dog. You don't. You can stand. I'm just doing this for. Normally, I would be standing. I'm just for the kind of for the camera view. So maybe I should back up a little bit. Okay, so, recording? All right, yeah, so let's see how that works. A little bit better. So, remember guys, as soon as the dog looks at you, then you give a treat. Now, the second time, you're gonna go, hey, Storm, good girl. When she looks, you introduce the name Storm, or whatever the name is. And as you do that, then eventually Storm, good girl. So just know, she'll look you straight in the eyes, when you say that name. Now it might take you a little while to go, you know, you might have to make a noise or a snap or whatever it is. Just make some kind of a noise, introduce the name, wait for the eye contact. That is the most important thing, eye contact. All right, puppy? Okay, next. Now, 
this is basically going to take, it only took her a few hours, honestly, guys. Some dogs are going to be a little bit um, more harder than others. It took her about a week for lay down. So um, it was tough, but she did get it. Now, for sit, it's pretty much pretty simple. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Now, when they do it, some dogs might just do it. And the, they don't know that you're, that's what you wanted them to do until you reward them. So when they get rewarded for what they did is when you say, good girl, and you, you know, reward with petting and playing and, and stuff like that. Now, the trick is always that I found that's the diff most difficult thing is lay down after sit. So it was like sit and lay down. Now she knows it, but at first she didn't. So it was, it was very difficult for girl to do that. Um, the way I got around it was to just do lay down. And I had to actually grab her front paws and push her to lay down. For, and sometimes you may have to do that. And sometimes you may have to, you know, lay down. And then, you know, good girl, you know. And that's when you are going to reward your puppy for doing what you have asked. Now... Some people like to give, ooh, sorry, mama. Oh, my God, I just elbowed my dog straight in the face. I'm sorry. Um, some people just like to give little pieces of, like, food, like, tiny pieces of food. That's fine. Whatever you want to do. She's getting a little bit bigger now, so um, treats her are fine. Um, so the next thing I want to do now is basically – with sit, if she's not, if your dog's not sitting, your puppy's not sitting, then just simply get up, up, come on, up, good girl, good girl, say sit, and if they don't sit, then you just grab their butt and uh, give them a little pat and push it down a little bit, and they'll start to do it. Sit, lay down, lay down, storm, lay down, lay down, good girl. Now you might have to point. See how I pointed, and that's when she did it, and then you know you reward the puppy with um. Lay down. It's it's really simple. You don't want to say overcomplicate it by saying storm lay down or you know or like when people when they're not doing it like what the heck you stupid dog like they don't know all these different words they don't know English they're not humans like people get mad don't smack your dog like for for peeing in the house or potty in the house it, your puppy should be getting let out at least once an hour when you first buy a puppy um, and take the puppy home they need to be going out every single hour. Um, to pee and poop. Some puppies are going to take a little bit longer to get acclimated to your house and, and your schedule. So her took about two weeks and she was really, really good. Um, she pooed and, pee and stuff in her cage. Now keep in mind, you don't want to get a big cage. Hey, no, that's bad. No. Now when my dog bites me too hard, I just simply, not rough and not hard, I just simply, no. No. And push her face down and tell her, no, that's, no. And she usually stops after that. Go get your toy. But not like, you don't like shove your dog's face down. Just, you know, just let them know that that's not something that's going to be acceptable. Hey. So next thing we're going to do is, well, lay down is pretty much the same thing. Like I said, it's the same thing as sit. Um, but we'll introduce the cage. So what you're going to want to do for the cage, which I have right here then we'll just swing the makeshift camera here over here so you're just going to want to when you first set your cage up just have your puppy just wander around it check it out hey cool that's my little home maybe just like toss a treat in there you know like just throw a treat in there I don't know it's okay to go in. Go ahead, Mama. Get your treat. And then, you know, just let her come right back out. Don't shut the door on her or anything like that. Come right back out. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. And then maybe do that a few times. And then get them to go in there. Go ahead. And then slowly shut the door. All right. Good girl. And then once she's in there, maybe give her a treat. And just hang out for a few minutes and, 
maybe do something or whatever. And then five minutes later, just open it and let them back out. And what that does is it's going to give the dog a feel of they're not going to be in there forever. The door is going to eventually open. So you do that for a little while and eventually they're going to just start hanging out in there out of nowhere. I mean, she'll just go in her cage um, every now and again and just lay in there. Now, when she gets a little bigger, I'll get her a smaller one. Keep in mind, you don't want a cage where the dog has tons of room, you know, to pee in the corner and then still lay down. They don't want to lay in their poo and pee, you know what I mean? So if she poos and pees in there, chances are she's going to have to lay in it. And she did have to the one day. And uh, that was the last time she did it. One other time after that. And then and she peed in the cage for about a week every day. Uh, right in this corner it would go to. And she was back there. Um, but she stopped. She's, it's, it's, she stopped doing it. She knows the schedule now. She's used to it. And um, she knows that she's going to get out of there. And she knows that she's going to have to, if she pees in there, she's going to have to lay in there with that pee for maybe a few more hours. It's just not something that dogs like. So <laughs> it's not something anybody would like, right? So um, that is pretty much introducing the crate. Um, we'll get into more advanced stuff later. Hey, no! And keep in mind, she has a pit bull, so when she bites, it hurts. Even just a puppy bite, it freaking hurts. It's starting to hurt now. So, you know, I got to let her know. But, uh, yeah, she can, she can crank down, man. Like, so, anyway, um, keep a lot of toys for the dog, you know, for biting and nippling and stuff like that. Don't let them just nibble on furniture. Keep an eye on it at all times. Uh, one tip, extra tip I can give you is keep it simple, even if you just get a playpen. Like, I cut off the room right here. I just set up this piece of uh, wood here. I just pretty much just set that up so she wasn't able to have access to the entire apartment until about a week later or so. And then I slowly just, you know, just let her hang out in the living room or maybe you're, you know, you have a pen. You can get those pens. They work well too. Um, but either way, your puppy's going to need a lot of attention. Most people go get a dog, a puppy, and they, and they just don't realize that... Um, they need a lot of attention. They need extra amounts of attention. And if you're not like paying attention to them constantly, they're going to get into things that you don't want. And they're going to, it's going to be harder for you. So it's just better off to just pay attention um, and, and just do simple, basic things. When, when your dog, now we'll get into um, potty training. Um, when your puppy pees or poos in the house, you're not going to scream and shove their face in it and say no. That's not. That's kind of counterintuitive. It's not the dog's fault. Most likely it's your fault for not paying attention. So what you're going to want to do is take the dog out constantly. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take Storm out. She's probably not going to potty because she's, she's dead. But we'll, we'll see if maybe we can get her to. See now, she's just peeing right now. So when she's done, I'll show you. Good girl, mama. Good girl, yes. Good girl, here you go. Hey, look, here you go. Have a treat, mama. Here. Good girl. Yes, you're such a good girl. All right, so the trick behind that is um, when your dog does pee outside, okay, or poop or do whatever, you're gonna want to have that the most extreme playful that should be the most playful you should ever be when your dog does that outside as a puppy and maybe even when they get older i mean they're dogs so that it's like you know they kind of need that so that's really what you're gonna that's really the trick to that um let me just put this down here sorry guys it's a little wobbly hey come here come here storm come come on good girl um so yeah, that should be like when your dog does it, your super crazy playful side of you should come out. And that's going to make your dog remember, oh, going outside is fun. That's that's why I go out there. I'm, how do I get him to act like that? You know, and that's, they'll remember that. And um, pretty soon, without you even really knowing it, uh, your dog will be letting you know when they want to go out. And she goes to the door 
once in a while I'm still trying to get her to get to the door to let me know. Um, it's I might rearrange the house because uh, what's going on is um, my TV and my couch is behind so I can't see her if I'm watching TV I can't see her go behind the couch she might be waiting by the door and I don't even know it sometimes so that's why I figure I'll, I'll have it in one peripheral vision alright so like I said when your dog pees like she's peeing again right now perfect example with no treat good girl Good girl, yes, that's such a good girl, yes, 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 mama, good girl, Storm, good girl, oh, she just wants her new toy, you're gonna get that, there you go, good girl, so now she associates going out with me and going pee outside, and she's gonna associate that with happiness and joyfulness and a new toy, and that's it. All right, so that is pretty much it for basic puppy training. Storm has got herself a new toy. She did super good without everything. Um, real quick, I'll show you the food that I feed my puppy and the treats one more time, just so you know. So this is um, this is what I recommend. Everything you get should be from the USA. That's my personal opinion. You can do whatever you want. I'm just saying. Uh, I like this stuff. It's made in the USA. Nutrisource, it's really good for the dog. Um, um, I thought this might have been the other one that my mom tried to give me, but it's not. So this is the one that I got. This is a Sports Mix Wholesome Puppy Verity. This is also made in the USA. And the food that I give my puppy is always going to be... Let me just bring the whole damn thing out. Say so you can say it. Uh, Victor, dog food, puppy, all natural, made in the good old United States of America. That is it for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoy. Remember, just take time. Don't rush it. Um, and just give your puppy a lot of attention. And it'll be a breeze. That's it. Hope you enjoy the video. See you guys next time. Peace.